Hello, my beautiful friend. I'm so glad you're here today. So I have an absolutely gorgeous shawl pattern to demonstrate for you, and it is just a four row repeat. It's super easy. So I feel like even if you're a relatively new knitter, you should be able to tackle this one. The colors that we chose for the shawl have a vintage vibe and they're really reminiscent of a leisurely stroll through a secret forgotten garden. So this design is called Entangle and it consists of the classic feather and fan stitch pattern. I've always been a fan of this stitch. It is one of the first stitches I learned when I started knitting. It's so simple, so easy to memorize and yet it is so gorgeous and so elegant. I think you're gonna adore it. So the feather and fan stitch pattern makes up the body of the shawl and then we surrounded that with a simple garter stitch border on all four edges. This design is super easy to memorize. No no joke, you're gonna love it. And it's also super versatile. It is so easy to make it wider or longer depending on what you want. You can make it a scarf, you can make a blanket, you can make a wider shawl what have you. And since the stitch pattern is quite simple, we decided to use five colors of yarn that shift into each other just to give it that added scrumptious factor. To make this shawl, we use our limited edition ephemeral fingering yarn, which is a plant-based yarn. It has a beautiful shine to it, a really lovely drape, and it is loaded with yardage. So you can see all of the colors for this at expressionfiberarts.com. While you're there, you can also download this pattern and go ahead and sign up for email update. We release a new pattern virtually every Friday and they are typically free for a short time only. So when you sign up, I will let you know when those free patterns are live so you can go get all of those. I'm also gonna send you exclusive coupon codes, news about our big monthly yarn giveaways, and positive little tidbits that are gonna bring joy and color into your day. Let's go ahead and hop into the tutorial for today. So all of the details that you're gonna need, like the number of stitches to cast on and the color changes are all in the pattern PDF for you. So you're gonna start by casting on and then knitting 16 rows. So it's 16 rows of garter stitch. That just means you knit every stitch, every row. Now here are the body rows that you are gonna repeat throughout the shawl. Okay, for row number one of the body, it's super simple. You're just gonna knit every stitch all the way across till the end. So you start with your nine stitch border. I like to have little stitch markers separating the border from the body. So when you come to those, just slide them from your left to your right needle and continue knitting along. So I'm just making a small swatch today. So I've got 36 stitches, but you will have more for the real deal, of course. And if you prefer to adjust the width, you totally can. You just need nine border stitches on each side. And then the body is actually a multiple of 18 stitches. So as long as you stick to those rules, you are golden. So go ahead and finish knitting all the way across and then we'll go ahead and jump into row number two. Okay, row number two. This is another easy row. We're gonna start by knitting our nine border stitches. And then when you come to your stitch marker, you're gonna slip it from your left to your right needle. Now bring your yarn to the front and you're gonna go ahead and purl all of the body stitches. So you're purling every stitch between your stitch markers. All the way across. So this is the wrong side of your shawl. You're looking at the back of it. And when you come to your stitch marker, you're gonna go ahead and slip that from your left needle to your right needle. And then you move your yarn to the back of your work and you knit those remaining nine stitches, which are the border stitches for this side. Do and do. Now we're into row number three, and this is the fun row. Yeah, okay, go ahead and work your border stitches by starting with a knit nine. So all the way to your stitch marker, just knit every stitch. And then go ahead and slip that stitch marker. Now, here is what you're gonna repeat you're gonna do knit two together three times. So knit the next two stitches together. Boop. So two has turned into one. Now you're gonna do it again. Knit the next two stitches together. Boop. And one more time. Knit those next two stitches together. Boop. So there you go. 
Now you're going to yarn over, knit one six times. So yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, so that's twice. Yarn over, knit, that's three. Yarn over, knit, that's four. Yarn over, knit, that's five. Yarn over, knit, that is six. Now we're going to knit two together three times. So again, just knit those next two stitches together, turning two into one. Do it again. Knit the next two stitches together, so two turns into one. These are decreases. And then two turns into one with another knit two together. You're gonna to repeat those stitches all the way across your row until you get to the end. Then you're gonna slip your stitch marker and just knit those remaining nine stitches for your border on this side of your shawl. So that's super fun. Now we're gonna knit row four. So literally every stitch on this row, you're just going to knit it nice and easy. So just slip your stitch markers as you come to them and knit every single stitch all the way across. So you can see what we've got here. We've got our border stitches on each side, which is garter stitch, and you're gonna have 16 rows of garter stitch here as well. And then the body creates this beautiful little wave. So those yarn overs open up these little lacy holes here. And then we've got the little decreases which create the waves as well. So you're gonna have more waves along the real shawl. But you can see how simple it is to make, but how beautiful and elegant it is once you've got it going. Then you're just gonna repeat rows one through four of the body of the shawl throughout your pattern, changing colors as indicated in the pattern. Once you've done all of that, then you're gonna finish your shawl with another 16 row garter stitch border. So that just means you're going to knit every stitch, every row. Once you've cast off your stitches, be sure to give your shawl a good blocking because that's really gonna open up all those beautiful lacy stitches. And we'll be sure to link below to our video tutorial for that for you. All right, I'm gonna hop off for now. I truly appreciate you being here with me today. Let us know what you think of this design in the comments. We can't wait to see what you think. Remember to soak up this marvelous day. It truly is a gift. Thank you so much. I'm going to see you next week with another new pattern. Bye-bye for now. Mwah. See, now I'm all messed up. What'd you call it? Entangle. Like, like? like Will Smith and Jada. <laughs> Her son's friend, she got into an entanglement with him. Oh my gosh. Forgot what I'm saying. Oh, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. For <laughs> the tutorial? I can't talk. Whoa. The tutorial. Whoa! <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's actually one of. Okay. Now, I forgot. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial for today. So, all of the details. Oh, okay. So, all of the details, like the pattern changes. <laughs> and have a marvelous day. Soak it all up. Today truly is a gift. And I, and I hope you have a marvel. Okay, should I start over? Soak up this marvelous. And, bye-bye huh, for now. Mwah.